in Salesforce, accounts are used to store the information about customers or individuals that you work with. There are two types of accounts. Business accounts store the information about companies. You can also create a person account and that it can be used to store information about individual people. To see the list of your accounts, you use a list view, a view that shows all account records or recently viewed account records. The list views are dynamic. So if an account is edited, the list view automatically reflects the changes in the account. Various actions like filtering, creating, and sharing can also be done from the accounts list view. Various actions like filtering, sharing, renaming, etc., or cloning the list view can be done from the list view itself. Now, in most cases, your list view will default to recently viewed. To toggle to a different list view, you can click the down arrow and select maybe all accounts. And if you would like to work with all accounts normally, then you can pin all accounts as the default for yourself. When we are in the all accounts view, you can click on the filter icon here and you can see all the filters here. So it, currently it is filtered by owner and it, the filter is set to show all accounts. You can add a filter and you can select any field in the account object in order to define your filter. So for example, we can take annual revenue greater than and just enter any number and that should show you only the accounts which are which have annual revenue greater than one million dollars now remember when you make a modification to the filters for the all accounts list view this filter applies to all users in your org so if you want to create a custom list view just for yourself you should actually go in and create a new list view. So we'll delete this filter from all accounts and we'll create a new list view. Give the list a name, my custom view, or if you have a particular filter in mind that you want to create for this list, then you can use a descriptive name that will identify this list view. So for example, you may want to look at East region customers. As of now, we'll just use my custom view. Now, while defining the new list view, you can select who can see this list view. So only I can see this list view or all users can see it or share the list with a particular role or with a group of users. We'll just create this my custom view as a personal list view where only I can see this list view and save that. The one is we can, of course, define the filters. We can select a filter where let's say the billing state or province equals CA. Save that filter. So that shows us only the customers who are in California. And then we can go to the list view controls and select the fields that we want to display. You can either remove some fields that you don't want to display in the list view, or you can add certain fields that you would like to include in the list view. From the list view controls, you can go back to the sharing settings. If later you decide you do want to share this list with somebody else, you can rename this list view, edit the filters, and you can at any time you can go back and remove or add certain fields that you want to display in the list view. You can see some of the other li uh, list views that already exist in your org or uh, some custom list views that have been created. So platinum and gold SLA. So here we are trying to create a, a custom list view which has platinum and gold SLA customers. So the way to define this list view would be to go to the filters, add a filter, select SLA field and the SLA. Now the SLA is a pick list. So from the SLA field, you can then select gold and platinum customers and click done so sla equals gold and platinum is added to filter save that and you can see the accounts which have an sla which equals either gold or platinum and if we have that filter then it would also make sense to show the sla whether it is a gold or platinum so select the fields to display go down to sla and put it into the visible fields 
you can also move the fields to determine where exactly you want the field to appear. Save that. And now you can see the SLA for that account in the list view. This is a series where we are introducing some very basic Salesforce concepts for people who are completely new to Salesforce. Hope this is helpful and do subscribe to this channel.